Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine because I know it's mostly you up in here, Booski. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not? Tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. So, Divine Masculine, yes, I am here to do the What the Fuck is Up with you reading for the next seven days. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it, so if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, laid some cards down just to see what's going on with you. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single divine masculine getting no fit nucks. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your head on the way out. Hit the alley. You'll be back in Thailand. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Love ya. All right, Divine Masculine, my stomach started hurting real bad before I started doing your shit, man. I was nervous and shit. I had to go take a damn spiritual bath, real shit, before, because y'all already had bass backwards. So I wasn't sure if it was my anxiety, because that reading was so fucking ridiculous the last seven days, or if it was you, but... I think it's you, because once I did that, cleared my energy, sage and shit, the shit went away. Like, yeah, I didn't, what the fuck do I have to be uh, worried about? This ain't my shit. Uh, so y'all are definitely nervous about something, uh, about doing something. Things are changing, happening rapidly in your life, uh, spiritually and physically, I'm hearing. Like, uh, just things about you are changing like that. Uh, so, yeah. So that is you on the toilet with the BM problems, because that's what it felt like. Um, so yeah, got an upset stomach. A lot of you guys, but it's nerves. Uh, I did hear a song for you. I heard uh, Bryson Tiller, Crazy Shit is that album is uh, the first one, it's Trap Soul. And I was like, yeah, that sound like Divine Masculine. I heard that uh, Forever How Long, However, Forever, However Long. I don't know, I'm gonna put it in the comment section. But uh, oh. What you stay with me? Yeah, my homeboy left the crib to me. Baby, you should stay with me. I don't know why you don't have your own place, but maybe there's some like stipulation. For as long as I'm here, baby, that's okay with me. For as long as you want, baby, that's okay with me. For as long as you want, baby, that's okay. Hey, how does it sound? Sound. Fuck it, girl, come spend the night with me. Say whatever, just don't lie to me. Step in now, you know I want you on the side of me. That's my shit. Forever, however long. I don't remember the name of the uh, damn title, but that's what I kept hearing. So I don't know. Uh, you want somebody back, G. Uh, it's definitely a divine feminine, a divine unit. I knew this shit was going to come out for you, Joe. We ain't even got to this part. But I knew it was going to come out because it came out for divine feminine. Uh, it came out in a different position, but I know this her, and I will get to it, boss. But yes, how does it sound? It must sound good. Shit, mm -hmm, what y'all doing? Anyway. Divine Masculine, the oracle card that you got for the next seven days is Upper World, which is future. Mask off. <laughs> Fuck it, mask off. Billy talk, Billy talk. Hey, hey, go ask your mama. I'm a boss. Yeah, you are definitely in a different crowd than the one we had last seven days. The last one had bugs and all kind of shit. We ain't got to everything, but ain't no bugs came out, Divine Masculine. So this is a whole new crop here. Okay, okay. Future. Upper world welcomes you to the ethereal realm of spirit the dwelling place of the star nations gods goddesses and spirit guides and of what you can become upper world bends to branch for you bends its branch for you to climb onto and up through the world tree here you will obtain philo philosophical i don't know shit, advice and guidance from sentient spirits who are waiting to assist you cement a month what who the fuck <laughs> i swear y'all it's not me i tell y'all this shit all the time Start over, Nun. Here you will obtain philosophical advice and guidance from sentient spirits, spirits who are waiting to assist you. It Look, dude, I'm going to show you. It says waiting to assist you cement much. 
Look, waiting to assist you, cement a much. <laughs> what the fuck is, uh, <laughs> what Marcella missing? Yeah, what is a cement a much? You see that? It ain't me, G. I can read more. <laughs> I'm sorry, do I mask him? This shit's serious, too. Positive outcome. I'm like that kid where everybody want to go to recess and the teacher be like, none, you read the paragraph before we <laughs> go to fucking recess and all the kids get mad. Like, damn it, we're going to be here all fucking day. That's me. Turn to upper world for spiritual guidance that is of a higher vibration than that of the lower world. It is not better. It's just different medicine to draw from as and when it is needed, especially when making plans for your future. Upper world is waiting to reveal the heights of your essential nature to awaken your full purpose and raise you into your potential. Upper world calls you to work with spirit to bring about the healing in an earthly realm. They play in different world. I know my parents love me. Stand behind me, come what may. I don't know why they're playing that. It's a different world from where you come from, Divine Masculine. So, yeah, y'all, uh, okay. I'm, yeah, I'm, here. I, I, I'm picking up what you're throwing down, Spirit Guys. Sorry. Zinga, zinga, zay, zinga, zinga, zow. The upper, middle, and lower worlds of the tree of life are fully connected and equal. One cannot exist without the other. Traversing between each world will take you closer to being in unity with great spirit. A spiritual experience will change your view and outlook. See the bigger picture. Honor your feelings. Give sympathy, give sympathy where it is needed. Lessons to be learned here. You are a natural healer. Time to realize and embrace your life purpose. Make a commitment. Ooh wee. Divine masculine. Uh, it's some e shit happening to you, my brother. What's this, that? In the next seven days. For real, for real. Upper world. And guess what that shit had come out with? The magician. I was like, oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, man. And it don't feel like a ICDC magic or none of that. It feels like that, uh, like that real shit. Like that Holy Spirit, godly, uh, godlike stuff for real with the magician in the upper world uh the journey came out with that boot uh and lauren hill which is crazy because i was singing this in divine feminine's video let me tell you that everything is everything remember i said after winter must come spring look at the flower she's holding uh something's coming back around full circle divine masculine or you are that's number one Number two, some of you guys may be dreaming about uh, loved ones that have passed away, specifically a woman. Uh, I don't know who this one, it could be a mother, grandmother, sister, somebody like that, or someone visits you. They're telling me to tell you it's not a dream. Uh, this person definitely passed on because she holding carnations and <clears throat> there's always carnations at funerals. All the ones I've been to. Or you may smell flowers, divine masculine. This person is around you. There's something that uh, you realize like you tapped in. I don't know what happens, G. It could be spin the motherfucking wheel if you want to. I feel like it's a whole array of shit here. I also feel like some of you guys are trying to make something happen, Captain. Trying to go visit this Queen of Cups, whoever this is. You guys are trying to pull some strings to go visit somebody here. Some of you guys here. Some of y'all dabbling in that ICD magic and y'all done pushed this bitch further away. Like, what the hell? I thought you wanted to do the opposite, brother. Uh, some of y'all need to stop dabbling. And shit, you need to fucking use this spell on them motherfucking roaches if you want some shit to leave. Because this worked perfect on her. Whoever the fuck this is, that shit worked like a charm. So I feel like your superpowers are uh, misdirected. <laughs> Basically, that's for some of you. Yeah, yay. But I don't see the roaches, so yeah. Maybe you tested it out on them first. Or you tested it out on Divine Feminine and you realize I make things leave. Yeah, some of you. Sometimes I bleed. Yeah, the others. I don't know. What the fuck y'all doing? I feel like that's who come visit you, they said. Oh. Yeah, when she met her husband in that foggy ass parking shit. Uh Nicole Kidman. And that's what her husband's her husband said. Sometimes I bleed. So some of you guys, this person that's gonna visit you, Divine Masculine, they could have died tragically or I don't know. It feels like us. For some of you, that is true. But for others of you, it's a woman or it's somebody that you love. And this is somebody who will want you to do the right thing always. Would definitely want you to be Spike Lee throughout your whole life, G. For real. <clears throat> I see Divine Masculines with tattoos on their right arm. 
I see divine masculine is traveling. Uh, you could be taking a train, a uh, plane. Shit, I don't know. You just traveling, brother. I see the ones that like vinyl. I, some of y'all taking the damn uh, carriage ride. I know you taking it by any means necessary. I am Malcolm X. <laughs> yeah. Y'all trying to travel somewhere. Y'all motherfuckers about to take a horse buggy if you got to. Look at them wheels. Look at the motherfucking wheels. Somebody got a Mustang. <clears throat> uh, yeah. I see some of y'all who sleep on the floor on the air mattress. Uh, or just on the mattress, period. Maybe somebody's sleeping. Oh, that's what he said. Uh, my homeboy left the crib to me. Baby, it should stay with me. And we sleeping on the motherfucking floor? I think the fuck not. I got back problems. Some of y'all sleeping on somebody's floor, and it's not Gucci for your posture at all. Not at all. Something about a lotus. I don't know. Divine Masculine, I see you looking at other couples. You doing like how women do. And it's not a bad thing, but you know, well, I mean, I won't say all women, but I've been here before. Like when you walk in, it's like uh, you see people in love and shit, and you're like, oh, you know, like that seems pretty cool. Uh, I feel like y'all are experiencing that. Look at the man, he traveling by himself, and look at the couple down there. He trying to act like he ain't looking at them, but he like, I want to be in love too. I want to go too. Yeah, you like the little boy in a... Uh poetic justice when Tupac came to pick up the little girl and the little boy was like Tone Loke's son I want to go too yeah <clears throat> wasn't that uh, poetic justice yeah wasn't this baby named Keisha shit smoking on Keisha y'all smoking on that weed I see divine masculines that have on uh, a lot of jewelry here the person that you like could like jewelry as well. But I see y'all wearing jewelry as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. I see divine masculines who would benefit from uh, some type of beads, like protection beads, tourmaline, uh, all that shit. Don't get me started, but that type of shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, things that protect you. Stones, crystals. Uh, the number eight or the month of August could be significant divine masculine. I see divine masculines that like to wear hoodies. I see divine masculines that like to wear all black everything. Yay, yay. Or red. Mm -hmm. Red and black is significant for some reason. I don't know. You motherfuckers like to play checkers and shit. That's the only time I've ever and maybe connect for. I don't know. I see other. I don't, unless you motherfuckers just like to play games. Because now they're just showing me an array of games and shit. And the magician is out here. Divine masculine, please don't. Please hold. Please don't. It already says you've been doing that shit, but we'll get to it, boss. Hmm. Some of y'all gonna have a toilet backup. I hope this ain't at your friend's house that left the crib to you. And then you're gonna invite a girl over and you just got uh, tissue and shit and piss just swirling in it. Yeah, your homeboy gonna be mad. My homeboy left the crib to me. Baby, you should stay with me. Like, so we sleeping on the floor and you got flooded toilets? How does it sound? Whoever you inviting over, Divine Masculine, it don't sound great. Sound. It don't. It sounds slippery and, and hard. I don't know what we're talking about now. I was talking about the floor and the toilet, but never mind. What are we talking about here? Moving on. I see a Divine Masculine that draws hearts while he's traveling or writing something. You doodle. That's what they say. You're a doodler. Isn't that what they call people who doodle? <laughs> okay. I ain't lie. I think it's cute, me personally. Just don't let me find it. You know? Doodle on your own time. Doodle boy. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm trying to lighten up the mood. The shit funny to me. I'm telling you, it was your energy that was all making me noivous, manoeuvre. It wasn't me. Shit. <laughs> This better not be true, man. I don't know. Somebody, there's a divine masculine. <laughs> you better be like 19 and a half at the oldest. I see a, <laughs> yeah, with the half. I see a divine masculine who's sleeping in a bunk bed, Joe. Like Tom Hanks on big and shit. I got top. Yeah. <laughs> like step brothers and shit. I don't know who this is. There's a grown-ass man sleeping in a bunk bed right now. I ain't even playing. <laughs> I 
How does it sound? Like squeaky, motherfucker. Squeaky, can you stop t- turning this shit? Damn, who was this? This is not cool. I thought that song was talking about something totally. I thought you were. I, she ain't sleeping in no bunk bed. She ain't sleeping on the floor, Divine Masculine. What is going on here? Maybe that's how you ended up with pine needles in your ass, Divine Feminine, back in your be aware section. Remember that? Mm-hmm. I'm like, where are you, bitch? Uh, at a shell station? Where the fuck are you? That type shit. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Whoa, let me say it one more time for you. These are things I gotta say to you. These are things I gotta say to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Divine Asculate. Uh, and a lot of people I know are really going through like relationship issues and shit and I need to be more compassionate. I'm working on it, G. But I can't help but laugh at this shit sometimes. But and shit, I was going through it shit. I was I, that's what got me through it. Just laughing at my motherfucking self. It's better than looking like this all motherfucking day. Shit. I see a robust man out here, a bold, robust man. He's like tall and big. Baker could be significant. Somebody could be a, like I said, a chef. Uh, I see a baker. Uh, last name could be Baker. Uh, the letters F or W could be significant. You Maybe you fuck with a baker. I don't know, shit. F.W. Baker is what the train say, shit. Ain't nothing wrong with it. That's probably why this man robust like he is. Shit, you fuck with a baker? Shit, ain't nothing but carbs, man. Anyway. Somebody's eating non bread. That shit good. Look, we start talking about food and shit. Biggie ain't even out here. But I ain't mad at you because Divine Feminine eating. I mean, what else can we do, G? But yeah, somebody's eating non, like Indian cuisine, tandoori and shit. Uh, that's what's up. Yeah, Divine Masculine, something magical is happening to you, Booski. You could feel it. I feel like your body is changing. Like, literally. Some of y'all have uh, arthritis. I hope you ain't the motherfucker jumping in the bunk bed, y'all, with them brittle-ass bones in them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What? You hope you got the bottom. For real. Uh, I see uh, Divine Masculines who have achy joints when it gets cold. Oh, I know what the fuck this is. Yeah, this my people trying to get me to go camping and shit. And I'm like, oh, where, what lodge are we in? They like, lodge, bitch. We on the ground. I'm like, where are you guys pooping and peeing? They're like, in a bag. Uh, they're like, how does it sound? Sound. Like, it don't sound like I'm fucking going. It don't sound like that. No. <laughs> I visit. These are things I gotta say to you. I had to tell them. I don't know. Maybe somebody going camping or planning on it. I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be cold. I know that. The stars are beautiful, though. The moon is beautiful. The stars and the moon are be- like it's a beautiful night. Shit. Uh huh. Somebody living that champagne life. Uh, I see divine masculines with a very uh chiseled face, chiseled jawline specifically. Like you have a very prominent jaw. I see people on bikes now. I see y'all on uh, what do they call them? <laughs> What's the shit where it's just got one big wheel in the front and one big wheel? It's like a some type of sickle. I don't know, but Lauren Hill got a wheel. But y'all determined to get to somebody, okay? You can reach me by sailboat. Yeah, I don't care how you get to. Yeah, you like Roberta Flack for whoever this is, man. Damn. I see divine masculines with hairy ass legs, hairy period, but just hairy legs for show. I see dog hair all on the bed that's on the floor, but I mean, in <laughs> in the dog's uh, defense and shit, it is eye view. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. I see plumbing problems, divine masculine. For real, I see a uh, bad weather. Some of y'all are uh, in like a storm right now. 
this could be an emotional storm or an actual physical one. I don't, I'm seeing like a, a storm tracker, storm track watch or some shit. I don't know. Some of y'all got, uh, some of y'all uh, can feel the weather changing right now, but I feel like it's inside of you really, but you can feel things now. Uh, you're tapped in divine masculine <clears throat> in the next seven days. All right. Now divine masculine, my king, divine feminine, my queen. <laughs> Y'all know when I do these readings, man, I don't call out signs. That should either resonate or don't resonate. KK. <sighs> divine masculine, man. We just in the beginning, you know, I don't know how the shit going to end up and shit. I got to put an extra disclaimer. Y'all, uh, man, y'all be scaring me sometimes because it be different groups. I swear y'all be up in here under feminine, like, uh, logins or some shit or using somebody else's shit or, so, or y'all ain't logged in. I don't know, but I feel y'all, man, because it's too many different groups in here. Uh, anyway, divine masculine, the energy you're going to be in and how you feeling about yourself for the next seven days. You got, I'm going to put you to bed, 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 Jay Holiday. Right? That's the bit. Obviously. That came out with STD alert. I was like, okay. So I had to get a little cliff note. Right? The magician came out again. So that's an array of things, diseases, issues, and all kind of shit. I didn't want to keep digging in it because it ain't my business, brother. Mm. That came out with the seven of pentacles, which is also like a magician card to me too in this deck. Every time I look at this, it looked like he trying to manipulate something or make something happen before his time. Like grow faster, asshole, like that type shit. Anyway, came out with the coffin and toil and labor and my Herman Munster card, <laughs> right? Dun, 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 dun. Some of y'all been laid up with spot like a motherfucker. But anyway, uh, then you got the divine university bus. This is a really good school. Uh, yeah, Divine Masculine it is. But <laughs> it came out with manipulation and mental health issues. So moving on, that came out with the Ten of Swords and the Death card. So you done with that shit, right? Let's hope and pray. Ten of Swords, Death card. That's death, death. Shit, that's death, death. Like death jam. Came out with message of concern. And Beyonce, I was like, oh, shit, it's getting serious. Uh, Seven of Cups came out, Confusion, that's the spinny top. That came out with the, uh, you got these bitches taking notes. The Three of Pentacallis. Mature woman, which is old face, young ho, young face, old ho, or just mature woman. I feel like it's kind of mature woman. But it's also old face young ho, but mostly mature woman because it came out with the nun. And she ain't no old face young ho, young face oh ho. This bitch worked for the Lord, okay? Watch your motherfucking mouth. Anyway, uh, she is seasoned, brother. Anyway, Divine Masculine, uh, the gist of this shit here, some of y'all feel really bad about doing somebody uh, straight foul G. Real shit. It could be a divine feminine because the nun is out here. The divine university bus, whoever this person is, uh, this person literally worked for the Lord. Gee, and when you get a nun on the divine university bus, she probably driving that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? She a recruiter. Uh, I don't know if you tried to manipulate this person or this person trying, this is the energy you going to be in. So I feel like this is you feeling like this. Like why in the fuck would I try to do that to my beautiful queen? I don't know why I did that. Uh, Y'all are wanting to put an end to this behavior, this manipulation, ten of swords here with the death card. Maybe some of you guys, uh, I don't feel like all of you guys have mental health issues, but there may be some people that need to deal with that shit. I was just talking to Divine Feminine about narcissism, and we got manipulation here with the mental health issues and shit. They say that shit's a, a, a disease or psychological. I personally feel like it's spiritual. Divine University must here. So some of y'all deal with that shit. And manipulated or did some fucked up shit to a really good person. I feel like, uh, I like the Ten of Swords with that though, with the death card. It's like a crucifixion. Like you surrendering that energy, that behavior. Message, it didn't surprise you. Shit, look at it. But I feel like you weren't expecting to meet Beyonce, whoever that is. Shit. Uh, to you, whoever that Beyonce is to you, you wasn't expecting uh, to fall in love with this person. It says confidence can be the most powerful aphrodisiac. Uh, some of y'all are jealous of this person or intimidated by this person. Uh, divine masculine. 
be both every or you are be both everywhere and nowhere at once when someone sings from the heart don't go tone deaf this is somebody that you don't even uh talk to right now that you watch it says be everywhere and nowhere at once. You spy on this person. When someone sings from the heart, don't go tone deaf. Whenever they post a picture, release something, post something, whatever it is they do that's for uh, public visualization, they said, uh, you be on it like a Charlotte Hornet. Punks be all up on it like a Charlotte Hornet, but they full of Chicago bullshit because they don't want it. Yeah. Shout out to Charlotte. Mm -hmm. That's what they said. <laughs> Somebody, a basketball player here. I see college ball players out here, just athletes, period. Yeah. Divine Masculine, I feel like what woke you up is that, uh, because I feel like you were laying with Spot, right? Because when Herman Munster come out, you either, uh, it don't feel like you smashing the damn niece. What's her name? Marilyn? I don't feel like you smashing her. Or what's her name? Was that the niece name? I don't fucking remember, but she was the only so-called normal one that they said. I like the family. I thought they was more uh, normal than her because why the fuck would you be living with monsters? Like, bitch, you the weird one. They come from this life. Uh, but that's just me in my mind. But this ain't Marilyn. I feel like you was fucking a real monster. <laughs> Whoever your other, it ain't your divine counterpart, I don't feel like, or you were this monster. But I feel like uh, there's some other woman here, seven of cups or women here. Uh, that try very, very hard to either be in your good graces or around you. You got these bitches taking notes. Whoever this nun is, uh, which is my bitches, right? I feel like your hoes is spying on them. <laughs> your hoes is spying on, on my nuns in here, trying to be like a nun, which is not really hard to do. You just kind of surrender your life to the most high, but the swag is like shit. You know what I'm saying? You a bad girl and your friends bad too. Hey, you got the swag sauce. You're dripping swag goo. She dripping swag goo. And her friends are too. A uh, mature woman here. Uh, some of your broads <clears throat> roll harder than some of your ninjas. Yeah, my mace voice. Yeah. <sighs> they spying, man, on whoever you want to be with. Whoever you manipulated, Divine Masculine. There's some women. I don't know how they know about this woman, but I mean, or they know that there's someone else. But the fact that the nun came out, it could have came out with anybody. But the fact that the nun is out here, some of you guys uh, have someone that's uh, crazy as fuck. It ain't a nun. Uh, I don't feel like in this aspect where I'm about to relate this shit. Someone going crazy and shit trying to figure something out. Like, what is it about this broad? Now, to whoever you laid up with, to them, this nun is an old face, young ho, young face, old ho. You know what I mean? So, like, they that's how they look at us, right? So, that's why we're coming up like this in your energy. Real shit. You got some bitches looking at us like, we ain't shit. But the bitch taking notes. I feel like you picked up on this. Uh, Like, why are you wearing your hair like that? Because you spy on whoever this is, divine masculine. So, you notice every change about this person. So, does this person you laid up with. So, does Spot. Spot notices it, too. So, when Spot tries to change their collar... Uh, you know what I mean? You notice like that collar. Why would you put on that collar? Like with those, it's like they're trying to, uh, emulate someone, which is not really, uh, working out for you. Cause it just kind of throws, it convicts you like, damn, you're going to make me my, my old bitch. Make me think about the new bitch. Like what kind of shit is this? The one you manipulated. Yeah. Some of y'all, uh, the muggle is turning into a conviction for you. It's making you think about your divine feminine soulmate counterpart, whoever it is you want to be with. Every time you look at this muggle, it makes you think about the divine counterpart because the muggle wants to be the divine counterpart. It's like, do you want uh puffed rice or rice krispies? Shit, yeah, they cost a little more, but shit, you can tell the difference. You can. And you know you can't uh manipulate that shit. Motherfucker know the difference. Like I said, ten of swords death card, manipulation, mental health issues. Uh, you could blindfold me. I know the motherfucking difference. They don't even snap, crackle, pop the same. Real shit. Listen to some real Rice Krispies and listen to some Puff Rice. I done ate them both. Shit. Hello. We didn't become Beyonce for no motherfucking reason. We had to eat Puff Rice. Shit. Some of us still damn do. Message of concern. Woo. This nun says, become like a feather on the breath of God. I feel like this is also you too, Divine Masculine, coming up as this nun, but you would be just like a, a priest, a high priest, right? Gain wisdom through the study of the unknown. The soul is not in the body. The body is in the soul. I told you, somebody come and visit you. Somebody who could have been very uh, religious, uh, prayed a lot. Like, you know this person uh, 
believed in God. They lived a good life. This person is uh, visiting you. Some of y'all think y'all gonna go crazy, seven of cups, or think you're going crazy when you either hear this person or you uh, see this person in a vision or something like that. Mm -hmm. I feel like they trying to correct some shit, some fucked up behavior, real shit. I do see some divine masculines out here losing a job, but shit, you was working with monsters, G, like, you know what I mean? Like, it was time for you to go, brother. But I feel like you had invested a lot of time in here. You built relationships. Some of the people you was even fucking at this job. I know you love them like family. I know. But uh, that shit got real sick. Somebody is uh, was smashing somebody at their job. And that shit never shit where you eat. But we've all done it. Uh, but this shit got real toxic real quick, G. And some of y'all lost your job because of this shit. Some of y'all lost a, a divine counterpart, a soulmate, or a spot, or all of the above. Because y'all was just out there smashing everybody, dude. STD alert is just what the fuck that say. Magician. It could be any. I don't know what the fuck. Whatever you done had, it was growing, though. So you hadn't taken care of it in a long time. Shit. And you talk about, fuck it, girl. Come spend the night with me. Hell no. Uh, what is that dump? What is that? Uh, no. Some of y'all lost somebody because you transferred a, a sexually transmitted disease to this person. Some of y'all uh feel horrible about that. Or someone did this shit to you, Divine Masculine. Don't mean you had to be the dirty motherfucker. You did, I said you was laid up with spots. Shit. You lay down with somebody, got spots. You wake up with spots. Uh, That's what I'm hearing. Some of y'all got something from somebody, uh, a, a muggle. Real shit that you invested in. Magician here. Uh, And this person gave you something. And you don't want to work it out with this person now. Some of y'all are appalled. Or this is you, somebody else. And now you want to go back. It's like somebody learned their lesson here. Is when I, Or they will in the next seven days. And now they want to go back somewhere else. To the convent, possibly. I'm just saying the nun is out here. It's Divine Feminine Town. Beyonce out here. It's the Queen Bee. Uh, some of y'all are ashamed of... Uh, look. Clear that shit the fuck up before you come fucking with bitches and shit. Uh, cause God gonna let him know that you got the itchy and scratchy show for sure. Message of concern. He gonna let her know. He gonna let her know. Yeah, like pay attention how that motherfucker acting and shit. Look, Beyonce got a bat in her hand. I suggest you clear that shit up if you suffer from any type of uh, some curable shit. Now, incurable shit, you probably shouldn't even go to her house or I don't know. Let, I'm gonna just put it out there. That shit will get you fucking, yeah. Beyonce got a, a sheath with a sword in it and a bat. The death card is out here twice. Y'all better not. Y'all need to be careful out here, Divine Masculine, having unprotected sex. Let's just be honest. Shit. Like I said, we've all fucked up and done that shit and been scared as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Some of us more recent than others, right? But shit, it's time to change this behavior. Especially if you're going to go around sleeping with multiple people. Seven of Cups is out here. How come you can't just smash one uh, raw? Why you got to smash dozens and shit raw? Like, come on, G. Uh, That's why. And this is also, uh, and that's not for everybody because this is also spiritually transmitted diseases to me right so this uh relationship that you guys have with a divine feminine could be a divine soulmate whatever uh some of you guys uh transferred a spiritual disease to this connection by trying to manipulate it some of y'all were dibbling and dabbling in icd magic that shit's there twice and tried to make some shit grow or happen captain and you can't do that shit with a divine feminine and you lost shit did not work toil and labor with the coffin card you felt like <laughs> herman monster you felt like Herman Monster. Remember, he was a little dingy and shit. That big ass lunch pail. Uh, mm -hmm. Something like that. <laughs> some of y'all was messing with some shit uh, that y'all didn't have no business dabbling in. Or this is someone else uh, in, in your relationship uh, that had some type of influence on your relationship, divine masculine, with your divine feminine, divine soulmate, whoever. There is some, uh, there's another third party in here. When the seven of cups and three of pentacles to me, that you might as well just go and say that. You was trying to work shit out with multiple people. Uh, these bitches were sprung too. You got the, it says you got these bitches take notes, taking notes. Blessed up. Hey, it's some bad bitches out there that I really want to sex up. Because what do he say? They probably let me hit it because I'm next up. Yeah, some shit like that. Yeah, that's why. So some of y'all uh, were getting manipulated yourself, Divine Masculine, by these seven of cup people, three of cup people. 
Some of y'all thought y'all were going to be able to find your divine feminine or this nun, whoever this is, in other women, in old face, young hoes, young face, old hoes, and that shit ain't working. That shit ain't working. I feel like a lot of y'all are uh, changing your ways, divine masculine. You, the divine university buzz is out here. You, some of y'all are just confused on how to, uh, really this journey has nothing to do with divine feminine. I feel like your ass just need to get on the bus, period. But I feel like there's a sense of shame or something here. But I feel like then just get on the bus. Don't talk to the bitch. You know what I'm saying? What that got to do with you healing and doing your work? Divine feminine. Same shit I tell her. Uh, I feel like yours is more sexual with this bed out here. Some of y'all are addicted to that pope pussy. Real shit. Y'all don't even want to fuck nobody else. Uh, work card with the damn devil and shit. I mean, ooh, I said devil. Death card. I didn't even mean to say that shit. But yeah, some of y'all don't. Y'all addicted to that shit. Because <laughs> everybody knows the devil is addiction. It's toxic and shit. Or it's codependent. Uh, yeah, man. I told you. It's none nunny. <laughs> Basically. Uh, Divine Masculine, I see you guys filling out resumes here. I see some of y'all getting a call from a, a kid's teacher about how your kid's penmanship and uh, reading and writing, reading rainbow, like that motherfucker struggling. Uh, I don't know. How they writing shit in this online? I don't know. Something about maybe they got a mail shit. I don't know how the fuck kids going to school, but something like that. Uh, I picked up on that on some kids struggling reading and writing before. Uh, some of you guys are working with your kids on this. I see you guys, uh, some of you guys are school teachers or teachers, professors, divine masculine, some type of, uh, you could be, I see journalists, authors out here, uh, weed growers. I see all kinds of shit out here. Uh, some of y'all want to dabble in all different kinds of shit. I feel like you can do it with the magician card. It's saying you can go anywhere. We can go where we wanna. We can leave our kids behind. Cause our friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, well, they're no friends of mine. Who we'll give a fuck what they say? They ain't your friends. Shit. If you want to grow weed and cut hair and teach little kids, do that shit. Shit. Do it all, man. Shit. Anyway. I see some of you guys uh, investing in a home business or some type of entrepreneur or starting something where you, or a side hustle. There's some, uh, I do see another stream of income here, Divine Masculine. Be sure you don't try to manipulate it or taint it with the STD uh, card and the magician. Seven of Pentacles. Invest in that shit the right way or you're going to lose it. It's almost like you go to Divine University and then it's like you try to rub your dick on the teacher. Like, this ain't that type of school. You know what I'm saying? That should have get you kicked the fuck out. What are you doing? Uh, you can't cheat the system here. Meaning like whatever you try to build and really say you surrender and shit and trying to like uh, exit this type of manipulation behavior and these mental issues that you have and all this other shit. It's almost like, well, don't go backwards then. It's almost like you do just enough to get into school and then you slack off. Fucking slacker. Huh? You smoke that dope, don't you? Yes, sir. Yeah, you like Sam's and fucking lean on me. Don't be like that. But that's the energy. I see it. You kind of teetering a little bit. What's that uh, shit called? Inception and shit? Uh, in the next seven days, some shit gonna be happening to y'all where y'all wonder if this real life, if it's a dream or if it's real. Remember in Inception, by the end, motherfucker was totally lost. I don't know about you, but towards the end, I was just like, I don't know if we in the snow, on the elevator, in the plane, in the tub. I don't know. The buildings are falling. Like, it was just like, wow. That's how you gonna feel in the next seven days. Uh, become like a feather on the breath of God. I really do feel like some of y'all are astral traveling, having dreams, getting visited by uh, loved ones who passed on. It says gain wisdom through the study of the unknown. The soul is not in the body. The body is in the soul. Some of you, uh, they said attributes, something about your attributes or other people's attributes. You inherit their attributes. Mm -hmm. I don't like repeating myself. I feel like I sound like a fucking Teddy Ruxpin and shit. Anyway. That woman who been wanting to smash you at your job or that work for you or something. <clears throat> I feel like you work for this woman or some woman you work with. She get some of y'all fired, man. You get called in the office, Joe. She's like, uh, Billy, Billy, can you come in the office, please? And you know the way she said it, like, oh, this can't be good. Message of concern. It ain't. Toiling labor with the coffin. Mm-hmm. What he say? For however long, I don't know for however long you had worked there. 
uh, but don't argue with these people with the divine masculine, just leave. Damn. Divine masculine, like, but I've been working on it, putting in overtime, putting in overtime, putting in over. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. You shouldn't have been smashing. I feel like you was uh, smashing somebody, maybe probably multiples. You got the magic. If some of y'all gave somebody an STD at the job and you work with them and you were smashing multiple people. Uh, yeah, you're going to lose your job. That's too much health insurance that people are using at that job for one motherfucker. Like, wait, he infected all of you? Like, why is everybody taking off on the same day because of Marcus? Damn. That's for somebody. Ooh, we divine masculine. Some of y'all groove me. Oh, yeah, baby. Hey, tonight. I don't know why they started playing that. Really like the way you move. Hey, really like the way you move. Yeah, you like big booties and shit. Oh, don't leave me. Yeah, you a sweet talker, Divine Masculine. They be like, okay. Damn, tell me you are in my world. Yeah, guy. <laughs> You're acting just like a guy. Mm -hmm. In the next seven days. Or you did. I feel like you getting out of this behavior for real. I feel like you want to get on the bus, G, and, and work some shit out with uh, a nun. You got these bitches taking notes. I feel like some of y'all want to uh, be around this divine feminine nun, soulmate, whoever this is, this divine being and shit, because you feel like they could help you with something, help you figure something out. You just don't know how to ask them about the shit. If this person really is divine as you think they are divine masculine i feel like there's probably i mean are you really sincere about this help and figuring shit out i don't really feel like there's anything that could push this person away in, in depending on your sincerity you know what i mean like if this person is a nun they, it says they are, are become like a feather on the breath of god so like i said god lets them know if you on that bullshit or not so if you really ain't on that bullshit i feel like you ain't got nothing worry to worry about why would god uh Send you to a nun to not get help. That's the whole fucking purpose of them fucking around. He being here. It's like, that's stupid. But it depends on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, the nun ain't gonna feed you and then let you shoot up in the bathroom in the convent. She just ain't. Uh, first time you got away with that shit. Second time, you eat outside, motherfucker. Next time, I don't know. Let another nun help you. I, I don't know, buddy. You know what I'm saying? That type shit. Y'all are running out of chances or you feel like you have. In the next seven days. I see some divine masculines who uh, are going to the county shit. It's like the county <laughs> bus and shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For some manipulation or some shit, or maybe they call the police divine masculine. Some of you guys have had the police called on you due to some like domestic violence or some fit. I heard a fit. It alarmed people. It scared people. It scared the queen bee, whoever the fuck that is. So it could be your mama, baby mama, this divine counterpart, somebody. I don't know. I feel like somebody called the one tools on somebody, though, for sure. When the count, I mean, that is the divine bus, but that feel like the county bus, too. Your girl was tricking while I was draped. What did he say? While you was draped in your county blues. Yeah, bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Trick. Some of y'all, uh, when y'all went away somewhere, it could have been a trip, jail, I don't know. Your girl was smashing somebody else. Probably your cousin Daz. <laughs> I don't know. Kicking the dough. I look on the flow. It's my little cousin Daz and he's fucking my hoe. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I uncock my shit. I'm heart broke, but I still love him, man. Fuck a bitch. Yeah. Some of y'all get betrayed by Spot. <laughs> sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. Woof. Yeah, some of y'all 80s babies and shit. Y'all remember that shit too? I do too. What was that, at the end of Cheers or something? I don't know. <laughs> Viacom. Y'all remember some, oh shit, look at y'all, throwback Divine Masculines. Y'all well seasoned too, huh? Uh, yeah, all this in the next seven days, buddy. Yeah, some of y'all treated a, a, a queen, a nun, divine feminine, divine soulmate, whoever this is, like a fucking, like you acted like a monster. Uh, to this person, Divine Masculine. I feel like you done damn frightened yourself. Like, will it ever work out? Uh, message of concern. 
Uh, I was treating her like my other old face, young hoes, young face, old hoes, and I had no idea. Like, uh, it was Beyonce. What'd she say? Shit goes down when it's, what'd she say? A million dollars or however much she said on the elevator. Yeah, it do. And that's why, uh, that's all you ever saw. You ain't seen nothing else. Like, nah, uh, we gonna have to get this shit together, y'all. Uh, it's too much money out here. That's how this divine feminine treated you or it's treating you or whoever this person is that you want to go back to. They got too much to lose. They serious about their journey. And I feel like you are too now. But it's after you done got STDs, laid up with spot, lost your job. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Drugs and shit, manipulation, like all this other shit. Uh, it's kind of like they telling me you burned the bridge and you didn't get to cross back over. Like you burned the bridge thinking you didn't need to cross back over, they're saying. Damn, tell them what they want, Fred. Da, 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 da. I don't know. That don't sound good. Some of y'all are going to be asked to help pay for a funeral, a home-going service, Divine Masculine. You're going to do it, too. It's other people putting in. You so, uh, it's your family. You so damn ratchet. You like, who else putting in? Because you feel like they asking you for more. Seven of Pentacles. Like, how much Auntie Barbara, Auntie Lisa, and Uncle Mike putting in before you ask me? It's like, boy, just, it's Ten of Pentacles. It's your family. If you got it, go on, do it, man. Ten of Swords, death, uh, they dead. Shit. <laughs> I mean, did you love this person or no? Nah? That's one of the issues with you, Divine Masculine. You treat money like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you ain't never going to get it again and shit. You know what I mean? That's the problem. That's why uh, it's almost like you make money, oh, God. You may not think that you do. Of course, you like, no, nah, none. I love God. No. Nah. And I love wouldn't disrespect. Yeah, I know. That's what we all be thinking. But it's uh, you don't realize that you chase it so much or that, you know what I'm saying? If, I mean, shit, I feel you, G. I feel you. But I mean, if it's a dead loved one, you know what I'm saying? A dead homie or some shit, I'm damn sure putting something on it. Uh, I'm going to try to do something. It's almost like uh, this is something that's warranted is what they're telling me. Whatever this is, it feels like a, someone passed away. Uh, this has already happened. I don't foresee it. I feel like this has already happened or you know it's going to happen or you guys are preparing and they're asking you to help. Shit. Damn it. Ooh. Shit, they probably got a bed and running toilets at your auntie house if why you bullshitting. Okay? I'm just saying. We gonna talk about it. Uh, So how does that sound? Sound. Yeah, it sound way more comfortable. And it sound like it got food there too. Uh, Anyway, you know your homeboy ain't left shit in the fridge. He probably literally just left the crib to you. Like, that's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit in the fridge, ain't nothing there. Like, mm-hmm. He basically left you an Airbnb with his fucking mail. Basically is what he left you, but it's cool. Oh, look who at the bottom. Fuck. Where Craig at? I told you it was Spot. <laughs> told you. What's after Spot? They told me look after Spot. I ain't no fucking dog watcher. Shit. Securing the bag. Oh, she out there getting it. I told you uh, I was getting some. Getting, getting some. Super head. Boom, boom. What's good? Look. Super head, dun, dun, what's good? I don't know what your, uh, the person you dealing with right now doing. <laughs> I'm moving on, G. I'm moving on. I guess you kicked that shit to the curb. I feel like y'all get betrayed, uh, or you have been. Uh, and now you're starting to see things a lot more clearly with the upper world magician with the journey. Like now I see where this is going, why this went this, all of this shit. Everything is everything, Divine Masculine, Lauren Hill. Your intuition, Queen of Cups is intuition as well. Uh, that shit getting heightened for show, for show, Divine Masculine in the next seven days for sure. Uh, yeah. Something about October too. Oh, it is October. So, yeah, happening now. <laughs> like, when? When is that? When is that, sensei? It sounds so convoluted. they like, bitch, we in October. Oh, my bad. Uh, <laughs> Five of Pentacles, Christ Consciousness. This is in the Be Aware section for the next seven days. Be aware of some type of loss. Remember, I told you the crucifixion, though, but I feel like it's that manipulation and mental health issues. But it may cost you some money. Meaning, like, say some of y'all got to get some help. Go to rehab. You can't work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some of y'all like, no, I can't lose my job and go. What about losing your life, your purpose, your path, your bitch? All this shit. You about to lose way more than that. So I feel like there's some sacrifice you need to make. God at the bottom of the deck. Be aware, Divine Masculine. Uh, going to this school, you do have to. There is some type of tuition, Joe. <laughs> it's not monetary either. 
Ladder to Success, Baby Steps came out. Be aware, Divine Masculine, that not everything comes uh, expeditiously, G. It takes time to build shit up. And it also takes money to make money, Divine Masculine. Be aware, not spending no motherfucking money talking about you going to be a boss. Where? Where? On what planet? Uh, just so you know, be aware, babies cost money, Divine Masculine, in the next seven. That's a baby. Babies eat. Five of Pentacles. They, you the daddy. You lose money. I mean, shit. That's basically what that has said. Yeah, and you got another growing one, too? Yeah, and they grow Divine Masculine. They like uh, like walking, growing Chia pets. You got to water them. These you got to teach and shit to read and write like the teacher has said. Be aware in the next seven days. Some of y'all are single parents here. Damn, and you got another one. Here's another one. Yeah. yeah, you must be used to me spending. It's a lot of damn babies out here, Divine Masculine. Be aware. Y'all, uh, that's the bulk of your problem, they said, for a lot of you. It's Chiron. Uh, a lot of Chiron. And you've had these children with people like Spot, with people like Spot and Muggles and shit. And you love your kids, yeah, but it's almost like uh, it's costing you more than money. It's also costing you your Christ consciousness, meaning you don't have that time to kind of meditate, get that free time that you want because you are a provider. You have to be everywhere at once. What they say, be everywhere and nowhere at once and shit. You are the Beyonce of the family. You just he Beyonce, basically. Uh, but he do everything, you know what I'm saying? So be aware, keep popping out babies and shit and then complaining about money in the next seven days. This probably all, this all your boy left you. Maybe that's why you, uh, he left the crib to you. But I know this all he left in that motherfucker too. And you inviting people over? For as long as I'm here, baby, that's okay with me. She like, where am I supposed to sit? <laughs> For as long as you want, baby, that's okay with me. She repeats, where am I supposed to sit? Like, you just ignoring this bitch. How does it sound, sound? Like, what the hell? He's just not answering me. Like, whose house is this? Why are we here? Are they going to call the police? It's a good neighborhood. I am black. You are black. Do they know we're here? Uh, You got questions like the nun. Whoever this uh, this feminine energy does. Or this you, Divine Masculine. Uh, <laughs> be aware of someone that uh, you want to deal with. You really want to be serious with, they ain't going to just be cool with you, Donald Trump and your answers. You know what I'm saying? It's really, really good. Uh, it's the best uh, you've ever seen. Like, whose house is it? It's a really big house. Uh, it's the greatest house ever built. Uh, I personally know the man who, he's a good guy. Good guy. That type shit. Uh, we ain't fucking staying there, Joe. Shit. Mm -mm. No, no. Uh, be aware, Divine Masculine, uh, this person you want to go to on this Divine University bus, they're very inquisitive, and they believe in critical thinking and shit. So if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. So don't kill game, let the pimping commence. I feel like you met your match. Be aware in the next seven days. Damn, who this woman, Harpo? <laughs> like I said, he mommy. <laughs> Who's that girl? Yeah, she ended up being on uh, Sophia dick, didn't she? Remember, Harpo left Sophia, or when Sophia went to jail, he got with Mary Agnes, right? Wasn't she at Easter dinner and they all ended up living together? Yeah, the muggle and spy ended up being on the Divine Feminine's dick. I told you. I told you. The old face young ho, young face old ho, wanted to be like the nun, Miss Sophia. Y'all noticed that shit. And what happened? Harpo got back with Miss Sophia wearing mushroom pants and all kind of shit, wasn't he? Say I'm lying in the color purple. Y'all saw the movie, damn it. Shit. That's how that, how does it sound? Yeah. Five of Pentacles. Be aware. Five of Wands. Damn, that is definitely, be aware, Divine Masculine. Things are changing with the people around you. Uh, your energy, you may be down a bit in energy, Divine Masculine, in the next seven days. Just sluggish. These people ain't really swinging shit. If you look at them, they look slow moving in the motherfucker. Uh, you feel a little depleted. Be aware. Some of it's uh, all these children. Some of you, uh, if it's not a bunch of children, some of y'all, this is just you kind of like stressed out trying to figure out how to get to the next step in success, how to climb the ladder to success. Well, first, uh, number one, like I said, you got to crawl before you walk. Are you doing anything? I ain't doing anything because it's telling me y'all don't want to spend some money, but y'all want people to invest in help and shit like motherfucker. Uh, what's your business plan? You like, 
Look at the little uh, bellhop monkey at the bottom. He's like, well, I'm actually holding the plan. The magician's just here to hold the... It's almost like uh, it's all these fucking extra fine print and shit. Be aware, Divine Masculine. Uh, confidence is important. So whatever you are trying to convey, whether it be in regards to business, a relationship, or whatever this is, make sure you say it with your chest. Pill is muffin cap back blue. Like people can sense that you kind of... It's almost like a, this gift that's being enhanced is your intuition, but when it tells you to do something, which I guess everybody has that, so you, it takes some getting used to uh, as far as using your intuition and acting on it, but when it confirms it, you know what I'm saying, when whatever this reality is is confirmed, uh, it feels good, and you start to trust it more and more and more, upper world, the future. Uh, you are definitely tapped in, brother. So yeah, a lot of y'all gonna be tired as fuck. Y'all ain't even gonna feel like going to work or nothing. Uh, be aware in the next seven days. One on this, baby. Ladder to success. Four of Pentacles. Be aware people going to be showing you yourself. And you will be seeing them. They will be showing you yourself. And you will be uh, actually seeing yourself in other people is what I heard with this Four of Pentacles. And this Four of Pentacles is usually the man holding on or needing to let go. But to me in this deck, it's like the man's being shown who he really is. What he'll do for money. Uh, the shameful things he's done for money. It's almost like, uh, I don't know, Divine Masculine. Uh, be aware that some of you guys, or shit, this is other people. I'm also hearing a lot of you guys are going to be shown uh, people uh, their true intentions. <clears throat> it's like the mask comes off. It said future was here with the upper world. They're holding up these pinnacles like they're masks, but it's like uh, that really is why they're there for the money, for the opportunity that you have, for the great ideas and all that shit. The Ace of Pentacles is on top of the man's head. Be aware, Divine Masculine. Some of y'all are the fucking mastermind of this shit. Be aware all these motherfuckers uh, holding on to you and shit. You the one with all the ideas, opportunities, the, the whatever the fuck that Ace of Pentacles is on this man's head. Be aware of beggars, G. Be aware of people climbing the ladder to success on your motherfucking name and shit. That's another thing that's going to be draining you in the next seven days. You're going to see why you feel so fucking drained. You surrounded by uh, energy vampires that want shit from you all the time. Shit. Mmm. Got me feeling like a ninja now. Yes, sir. Yep. Like you just answer to people all the time. They always need shit. Be aware. In the next seven days. The kids, yes. It's almost like you wouldn't complain so much about your parental duties and like your family duties and all that shit if you didn't have this five of wands. This this don't feel like family, G. This is with the five of pentacles. These people you can skate skirt, skate skirt out on. Like who the fuck are they? Shit, fucking seat fillers. Be aware of having people in your uh unnecessary people in your energy in the next seven days. Be aware for any gardeners or farmers. Like, I feel like you, uh, that's what you do. You have a farm. I feel like it's people sabotaging your crops and shit. Like, late at night, they come. It's like a family. Uh, they do the same. It's a competitive farm. Shit, I don't know. Is it Zachy versus Foster? I don't fucking know. But I feel like somebody got two farms and y'all farm banging and shit. <laughs> y'all straight farm banging. Uh, somebody sprinkling some shit that's not making your crops grow. Or they grow really slow or the winter comes and it fucking just kills them and shit. By the time they're doing something, G, uh, you're going to find out who that is. Be aware in the next seven days. Or it could be some stupid ass kids, but they fucking with your shmoney. So uh, maybe y'all want to put cameras in the cornfield. I don't know. <laughs> put little fucking uh, body cams on the scarecrows and shit. I don't know. That's for somebody. In the next seven days. One on the crowning, baby. Be aware chariot card be aware divine masculine of just skipping out your duties why the fuck in this deck he just get out the fucking car like you know what fuck this just leave the whole shit be aware y'all abandoning some baby <laughs> for real be aware someone abandoning a baby with you be aware some of you guys are going to be shown that a, a baby could belong to someone else and maybe that's why you get the fuck out the car they begging for mercy like the lambo yeah i don't know why they playing all this bryson tiller trap soul Maybe somebody tried to trap you with a baby. I don't know. But I feel like uh, some of y'all are getting out, getting out of this situation that maybe you once deemed successful. <clears throat> and you're being shown that someone was holding on to you trying to drain you and shit for money. And this may not even be your kid. That's for some of y'all. For some of y'all, just be aware of not spending time with your child. Some of y'all need to be aware of uh, you're going to forget the car seat. I don't know where the fuck you're going to go, but you're going to be like, damn it. Damn. 
Yeah, you got to go back in or go back to that woman's house and ask her for the car seat and the family sitting there or she's sitting there like, I told you, uh, somebody's going to try to throw some shit up in your face to find masculine. Be aware. It's literally like a, but this almost, well, I won't say who I tell this, but it's like, if you're expecting to do something right when you do it right, they're still going to say that you did it wrong. And then when you do it wrong, they're going to be like, and you know that you uh, did it wrong. And it's like, I already admitted that I did that shit wrong. They still want to harp on you doing this shit wrong. It's almost like be aware of arguing with people like that. Like that can't hear you when you be like, that's my bad G. I fucked up. And they still be like, no, but you know, I can't stand when people do that shit, man. Are you living in the past like that, Joe? Like what the, why can't you get over shit? Be aware of divine masculine. You with somebody else is like this. They just like to nitpick Joe. They do. Be aware somebody going to throw a car up in y'all's face or tell a bunch of people they helped get you a car or pay for a car or this you doing this to somebody else. Be aware. It's a lot of, uh, I did this shit for you. This, I don't know. Be aware of these people, man. These your friends? What about your friends? Yeah. So basically the one that left you with the chair, uh, who left the crib for you, he probably gonna talk shit too. Like, man, I had to let that motherfucker stay in my house and shit. Yeah. And you got the nerve to be inviting a bitch over. Her getting out the car and shit. Boy. They left her baby at home because you talking about you got, <laughs> boy, y'all funny. I mean, I admire your damn trying abilities, but come on. Like, where the food? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? At least if I'm coming. If I'm coming, there should be food. Damn show a working toilet. I mean, I ain't hard to please, but fuck, that's common shit. What is there a fridge and a toilet for if neither one of them are working? One should be filled, one should not. Like, you got this, you got flipping. This shit should be reversed, brother. Yeah, I don't feel like, uh, I don't know. Be aware to find masculine. Someone around you is not asking for much at all, G. Just like you have your own shit together. Like you taking care of yourself, being stable, high vibing, like them seeing you succeed and being on that high vibing shit. Like they love that shit about you because this person is like that. I feel like uh, the person you want to go to, be aware. I feel like that's all they want from you, G. It's these other motherfuckers and shit. You got Chiron and shit with and them bought cars and paying notes and uh, all kind of shit, mm -hmm. friends and going, I don't know. Anyway, Christ consciousness, five of pentacles, five of wands, most likely to pay for sex. Well, shit. Well, damn. Motherfucker. Damn, D'Angelo. Um, some of y'all damn sure need to stop paying for hoes. That's what that is. You damn sure losing money. Five of pentacles, uh, five of wands, most likely to pay for sex. Uh, this a lot of them too. And they ain't even... I mean, I asked y'all before, was y'all going to like Reno or Atlantic City to get these hoes? But I don't know. They just don't look tidy. You know what I'm saying? Like, have you really looked at them? You know, have you really put a mirror up to the... Woo! Be aware. That's for some of y'all in the next seven days. Others of you, like I said before, be aware. A lot of y'all wasting money on some shit that ain't even... Uh, it's like on broads and friends, most likely to pay for sex, like to keep a crowd around or... This is, uh, like people like, uh, what they call it? Brown nosing and shit. Like boot licking and shit. Just so you'll give them something. They all want the opportunity you had. Uh, Divine Masculine, be aware you got people around you that want what you have, but they don't act like it, G. You'll know because these people drain you. It's like, this is, uh, this is somebody that could kiss your ass so much where you just get tired of them. Like, man, shut the fuck up. Like, can't you just like, like, don't you have a business or something? Like, this could be somebody that just hang out constantly. It could be a broad too. But I'm feeling like a uh, male energy. It could be family. But it's somebody that like uh, stays around you to like kind of drain you of your energy to create is what I heard. Or you just be talking too motherfucking much and just, you know what I'm saying, put your ideas out there and they just be like, really? And they do that shit. They go for that shit. They get out their car and they go do that shit. You be aware of y'all giving out free fucking money. And that's basically what you doing, brother. Uh, one on the baby steps with the four of pentacles. Why is this here for what divine masculine needs to be aware of? In the next seven days, who's experienced the biggest age difference with the sexual partner? Be aware, divine masculine. Someone may be looking at you like you immature as fuck. <laughs> Real shit. Or this is you some looking at someone else like that. But I don't really feel like this. I mean, you could have, there could be an age difference with these people, but it feels like maturity. It's baby steps here. So be aware, number one, you hanging out with people who just expect you to do the rest. 
like they find a house but you pay for it you know what i'm saying they find a car it's almost like be aware of that like they think like that's doing something or this is you it's like showing up showing up ain't enough be aware you show up to work to work not just to show the fuck up be aware that's for somebody or to put in some type of effort be aware of getting in situations where you don't intend on putting in any effort uh because i feel like you trying to climb the ladder to success in different spirituality business relationships and all those things as you elevate and climb this ladder you hanging out with real motherfuckers you see a real motherfuckers they gonna tell you about yourself they gonna show you yourself like uh i don't know who he was fucking with but it must have been somebody uh there was a hell of an age difference because you must think i'm fucking stupid be aware of divine masculine in the next seven days uh trying to like uh pull somebody's whole card when it's like really uh you are this is that person that you want uh to talk to when you're trying to figure out how to uh get on the divine university bus well don't come with this bullshit be aware of that they'll be offended yo they will with this kid shit and money can't buy them most likely to pay for sex they gonna assume you do that shit with everybody yep Fuck it, girl, come spend the night with me, yup. Say whatever, just don't lie to me. Be aware, say whatever, just don't lie to him or whoever this person is. Stepping out, you know I want you on the side of me. Yeah, keep it a stack, shit. Unless y'all just ain't ready for that shit and y'all just want y'all cake and eat it too. A lot of y'all be aware of that shit. This person still gonna know. Who masturbates the most to former lovers? Uh, some of y'all, this baby, this their kid ain't yours, man. I hate to say that shit. Be aware, Divine Masculine, in the next seven days. Uh, whoever this person is that's had, possibly had a child with someone else and maybe was claiming that it's yours, they, uh, may admit half-truths. Like, man, I kind of fucked around with this person, but I wasn't really messing with this person. Or this is you, Divine Masculine, lying about your dealings about with someone. Like, trying to, like, uh... I don't really fuck her, fuck her. I just fuck her. You know what I mean? Like, no, what the fuck do that mean, brother? What does that mean, asshole? This, this type shit. Be aware, divine masculine, of trying to sugarcoat some shit. Real shit. I don't know why they start playing I Like It, Elder Barge. You send chills up my spine every time I take one look at you. Ooh. Maybe then you send chills up my spine. This person's intuitive. So it's like if you lie to them or this is you, somebody else, or vice versa, however, be aware. This person, no, I told you, they spidey senses go off. I told you, God answered this person immediately, uh, especially if it's a nun. Girl, you're blowing my mind with the things you say to me. Yeah, that's the, why, that's the reason why you want this person. I like the way you comb your hair, and I like those stylish clothes you wear. It's just the little things you do that show how much you really care. Like when I'm all in love with you. Yeah, somebody a Rico Suave. Yeah. I be getting a lot of falsetto people. The Dream, Elder Bard, she like, ooh, ooh. Baby. I don't know. We got some singers, uh, songstress, song writers. I don't know. I don't know where we were going with that, but that's what they started playing. Uh, oh, yeah. That person's intuitive. They know if you like it or not. They know if you really come in Elder Barge or if it's the other brother just because all you motherfuckers look alike. I know which one is L and I know which one is Chico. <laughs> Be aware of Divine Masculine. Somebody could see through that shit. <laughs> that's funny I like it I like it I really really like it I'm for it adore it so come let me enjoy it yeah be aware divine master they're coming to try to get your cake and eat it too if it's with this nun person now if it's with spot or the muggle I feel like they gonna let you come through they gonna be like you tell them when to come she just get out the car uh probably rub one out before she got there uh Checked the mirror about five times before she pulled up. Uh, called her homegirl and shit. So her homegirl could pump up her head. Who just as immature as she is. Uh, and shit, you get drained, G. I mean, shit, be aware. That's what it look like. Five of Wands. It does not look exciting in your room. There's a meeting. Yeah, it's like a... <laughs> no. There is sleeping in my bedroom. Yeah, ain't no meeting. They're sleeping. Unless y'all having a sleep meeting. So, girl, please don't be late. Muggle and spot is there early. 
Be aware. They ain't late. They may have sat outside and you may thought they waited. Who is this? Be aware, Divine Masculine. Who are we even talking about? There's a meeting in my bed. Some of y'all doing Zoom calls? Step into me, casa. Yeah, why all these people got these damn high-ass voices tonight? You're my moon and you're my sun. I don't know. And I do not really like, I mean, it's okay. But why the fuck they keep, that's like a soulmate. Whenever the sun and the moon, to me, that's a soulmate. Yeah, I don't, that ain't even your bedroom, Joe. <laughs> it said, my homeboy left the crib to me, baby, you should stay with me. That's not even your bed. Whose bed is this? She got quirks, this Joe. I'm telling you, be careful. Be aware of inviting somebody or some shit you ain't really familiar with, Divine Masculine. In the next seven days. I'm talking about step into me, casa. You don't even know the security code. Why the alarm won't go off? Why well, I feel like we in an episode or a scene from Waist Deep, Tyrese? Uh-uh. Shit. Some feel fishy with somebody's house, man. Like, it ain't really theirs or... Mm -hmm. Anyway. Somebody trying to impress somebody. And I feel like they're, the person would be impressed even if it was the homeboy's house, right? But I feel like somebody just should keep it 100. Like, man, my homeboy left me to... Well, he did tell her. He did. Okay. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe she don't have her own place. Did somebody that got their own shit going to spend the night at somebody else's shit that's not their shit? That's not something like a, a third party home? Like, this is what the fuck is this? It feels odd. Something's off, Divine Masculine. Be aware. Ask questions. Or somebody going to be asking you shit? Uh, I've been trying to figure this shit out for an hour and damn 11 minutes. You have heard me. Like, wait, whose crib it? Wait. Wait, sir. Like, shit, I don't even take them out. Matter of fact, I'm going to pull up and call you. Come outside. I'm going to roll the window down. Zzz. Actually, you can get in. I'm going to park because I got questions about who house this is because you definitely don't live here. And why is there a rotor rooter outside? What is the plumber? Do like, I got questions, mate. Told you it was her. Divine Feminine came out. Be aware, Divine Masculine. Uh, like I said, this is somebody you ain't going to be really uh, able to impress with money or get her in no competition. Be aware. Uh, she'll dip, G. Five of Pentacles. She probably already did. Be aware trying to get a Divine Feminine, Divine Counterpart, Soulmate, whoever this Divine Being is. Be aware trying to get them mixed up in some fragonarchal bullshit, some competition, arguing and all that shit. That bitch will giddy up the fuck up out of there. She ain't about to most likely to pay for sex. That's like a pleasure. You know what I mean? Like to be around someone is what it's making me feel like. Like uh, be aware of trying to make this bitch feel like she's the luckiest girl in the world fucking with you. Because she already felt like the luckiest girl in the world by being a child of the most high. It don't get no better than that. So she'll ne it, that'll just make her leave. It's almost like thou shall not worship any other gods. So for you to make me think that there's nothing better than you, that, it's almost what I was telling you about money. Be aware, Divine Masculine. That's why she act like this. It's almost like she's looking for someone else uh, who's just like that. Like, there's no one better than my masculine because he's a child of the most high and so am I. Like, we run this motherfucker. Like, there's no need. No one can even compete where they don't compare when it comes to us. Be aware, divine masculine. You want this person, but I feel like your mind ain't ready. But the girls look so good. I know they do, Boski. I know. The nuns, they nuns. Shit. Uh, my bitches look good. I don't know what you thought, what you heard, what you hearing. I don't know what you been hearing. Shit, why your mug on spot trying to be like us then, bro? Shit. Anyway, let me stop arguing with you. It ain't your fault, shit, now. They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, and I say, shit. You see some uh, muggle and spot how they get down trying to be like this here, Bjork? Shit, that's a lie. So, shit, you have seen a miracle already, magician guard, upper world. Mm-hmm. Or this shoe. Anyway, put one on baby steps, four pinnacles, who's, who's experienced the, ooh, the biggest age difference with the sexual partner. Yeah, you're not going to woo. Be aware of trying to woo somebody with Wang. I feel like she like Wang, but it ain't the first Wang she done had. She, I mean, I ain't trying to say your feminine energy got bodies, but this ain't her first time at a rodeo. He likes the way I ride. Be aware, this motherfucking CC. So just because she a divine feminine, be aware of uh, this this person, divine masculine. She ain't wet behind the ears. She know about the streets. Uh, she know about all kind of shit. Loss, fights, competition, all this shit. She just got out of it. It's almost like she don't want to put them badges on her jacket, but she'll talk about it. You know what I'm saying? We got different badges. We five-star generals now. Who the fuck won't have the number of bodies they done had? And I mean, shit, it's almost like, uh, I don't mind talking about it, but 
I don't want to, that's not going to bring you in. You know what I mean? Like the, how I changed will bring you in. Then we get it. It's almost like you're inquisitive about this person. Like, how did you do all that? And then that's how it, it goes. Be aware of thinking this person wet behind the ears, G. And you the motherfucker inviting people to your friend house. What kind of shit? But she wet behind the ears. Now, I don't know where she live. Maybe she in her parents' house. And no disrespect to nobody doing that. But the woman, not this woman, I don't feel like she, uh, struggles for anything let's just say that i don't know where the fuck she live but he said my homeboy left the crib to me and you can stay as long as i'm here so when the homeboy come back bitch you gotta go too shit we both gotta leave ho i don't know what the fuck you thought uh fun time over that's what it feel like be aware g in the next seven days anyway let me stop Janice Joplin. Yeah, it sounds like a, a good time. Be aware, Divine Masculine, of trying to hook a divine counterpart person being with Janis Joplin tactics, G. It's like a... Uh Something about you being completely honest and and uh, and I don't mean you coming through like no bit niche and shit, divine masculine, like with no salmon colored shirt on, like I told you before. No, no, but be yourself, G. You already that motherfucker. This is you as well. You are coming up as a. This could be divine feminine, divine masculine, whatever. But I mean, shit. In that case, that means that you would have to abandon some ideas, uh, behavior and shit like that. Damn, show some people and some bitches to achieve this level here. Be aware of trying to bring this divine being down to your level instead of trying to climb to theirs. This Janis Joplin shit ain't gonna work. We all know what happened to her. Bjork's still alive, ain't she? Yeah. So it's almost that type of shit. Like, you're not gonna convince somebody who's living in the spirit to go lower for some four of wands shit. Janis Joplin to get high in your homeboy house? Four of wands? Hell no. Be aware in the next seven days. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all gonna be, yeah, this ain't Tatiana, G. Be aware of y'all trying to, uh, man, get with a, get back with or attract or date or whatever the fuck, a divine being and shit with this Janice Joplin Tatiana shit. It's not going to work, divine. I'm telling you, G, I really am. You, your intuition and all this shit is heightened, right? So it's almost like you're being led places now. So don't go back to old behavior and shit where you're being led new places. You would try and exude new behaviors, correct? Yeah. Uh, you work at a restaurant now, not at a gas station. So what the fuck are you checking their gas tank for at the damn Applebee's? This is this type of shit. It's like it doesn't go together. You know what I'm saying? Be aware in the next seven days. What on this there, baby? This chariot and the masturbating lovers. Be aware, divine masculine. I feel like some of y'all are supposed to have a divine child with someone. Uh, be aware you missing out by getting off the bus too soon and shit. Some of y'all are, uh, be aware divine masculine. There's some legacy here. I'm feeling, uh, and you're being shown. You can have children and some of you do with Janice Joplin, or you could have some with Bjork. I don't know. I feel like, uh, and we love all the kids we do, but it's almost like, uh, be aware of procreating and shit with Janice Joplin's though. G come on. Especially now that you waking up. Like, inspect your food, shit. <laughs> you know? You don't smell your shit. You don't pick your burger. Whenever I get a burger, I take the bun off. I look all through that motherfucker. If anything look wrong, I ain't eating that shit. Uh, it's almost like you got to smell your food, man. <laughs> smell your food. Make sure that shit smell right. Some shit be smelling funny. I don't know what that's about, but okay. One on the baby, <laughs> the chariot, and the masturbating lover. Yeah, he, he, Prince. We ain't seen you in a long time. Yeah. I told you, how could you just leave me standing? Be aware of y'all just running out on y'all kids. Just, just leaving them and shit. Now, if they ain't yours, then yeah, there's no reason for you to be there. But yeah, so maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's something about this young Prince here. This little baby and shit. Uh, some of y'all, this, this baby does belong to someone else. All these suits different <laughs> out here. It's a competition here. Five of wands. We got four of wands, which is the muggle in spot. And then you got a, a prince, a, a cup. Where the fuck they come from? You was coming up as pinnacles with people showing you shit. Well, who, who that, that baby that is? 
be aware of some of y'all in the next seven days. Some of y'all be aware of going back to someone from your past. Or some be aware of jumping into a relationship too soon, Divine Masculine. You need another lover like you need a hole in your head, baby, baby. Yeah, you need another lover like you need a hole in your head, Divine Masculine. You know there ain't no other. Yeah, like your Divine Counterpart. That could do the duty in your bed. Solo, solo. Yeah. You need to be solo for a while. Be aware, Divine Masculine. I feel like y'all want to go to someone and I feel like you want to rush to this person because you're afraid they may possibly move on to someone else. And it is possible, G. It's, I see a lot of people competing for this Divine Feminine, her attention and everything. But uh, they, she's going to treat them like uh, she treats you if they act in anything like you. So you really have nothing to worry about if these are low-vibing people. But I know why you worry because if she's high-vibing, she attracting high-vibing people, high-quality people. But uh, you rushing to her just to catch her and shit with the same behavior, that ain't going to work. It's just not. Be aware, Joe. Some of y'all are selling a car. That's your baby, too. All good things they say never last. Yep. Sometimes it snows in April. Oh, y'all crying and shit over this car. Uh -huh. Moving on. We got to get to your outcome, brother. Be aware some of the, uh, well, <clears throat> yeah, be aware. A lot of y'all want to offer to this divine feminine, but if you on drugs or got codependency, codependency issues, take can't take accountability and still blaming your mama and your daddy for your issues and all this other shit, uh, she ain't fucking with that shit. Her mom and daddy had issues too, G. Who mom and daddy didn't, G? Who mom and daddy that is? Everybody said that about somebody mom and daddy. Like, it's almost like uh, you want to be exempt. Be aware in the next seven. Shit. How you think she became this uh, divine? We don't become like this by having great parents, a great life. Uh, you know what I mean? Not losing anything, all, all this shit. You don't become that person like that. So uh, it's almost like that's why I said trying to use the muggle tactics on a divine being. It won't work because it's almost like you don't understand. I was born in a manger. You know what I mean? It's almost like trying to like say like uh, it was hard being Christ. Like it's a privilege, motherfucker. What are you talking about? It is hard. But the way you describing it is almost like a. Uh, an excuse you know what I mean for why you can't walk in your purpose this person don't look at it that way be aware in the next seven days they look at it as a reason to do better and shit they were showing themselves and shit that's why this person is uh don't care about flashy shit or your money or none of this shit they'll leave all that shit behind and shit so be aware this this new being this new divine being or past divine being or whatever the fuck that you're trying to return to you got to come different g you do be aware in the next seven days damn well all righty then outcome for divine masculine in the next seven days playing games Damn, this is all OC. We running this rap shit. M easy. We running this play ball. Who playing games? That should not come up in the end of I'm. Oh, let's say writing it off with the little girl at the bottom. Okay. I did see y'all trying to change this behavior. That was in your energy. So let me stop talking shit. Oh, I shit. Well, sit on each a slice of pizza and be quiet. Slick Rick card came out. This like seven of swords. This bra say she don't do shit she really do. She claims she don't eat pizza, but the bitch do. But that's why her friends don't invite her nowhere. They believe her. Divine Masculine, uh, your outcome is either you or somebody else is saying they ain't playing or they serious and shit. That motherfucker lying, Joe. That motherfucker lying. You or somebody else. Here. That's why I said you can't get on this Divine University bus with the same tactics. It's like it's we can smell it, G. We can smell that shit. Magician card at the bottom of the deck. Mm-hmm. That's why I was talking shit. And now come. I need to start. That's what I'm saying about trusting your intuition. But I was trying to be nice. Like, let me stop being so mean sometimes, man. But y'all motherfuckers be proving me wrong. Shit. Be another one. I'm sorry to be yelling in your ear, but fuck. The tiger, it's the eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fucking fight. Okay, <sighs> the 
divine masculine a lot of you guys go to someone and you omit information it's like you want to uh be the best representation of yourself but it's a lie g nobody can type six thousand words a minute it's like you bigging yourself up uh this is the outcome g i feel like uh I feel like it's past shit though. It's like uh, you wanna come brand new like you ain't never did shit or you are not this person that we know that you are and we've all been. It's like you wanna, I get you wanting to put the past behind you. It's kind of what this is too. It's like you don't wanna let everybody know everything and shit, your business is your business. Not everybody needs to know everything, but it's almost like the things that make you you though. You know what I mean? Are the things that you are uh, restricting, you're holding inside in the next seven days. A lot of y'all are leaving this uh, unrequited love situation and taking a leap to being single or have done this already. And you are spying on somebody that uh, you got regrets about playing games with and shit. Uh, you now realize that person is uh, either your divine counterpart, being soulmate or whatever. Uh, God cleared that up for you or he will in the next seven days. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all make me tired, man. I see why Divine Feminine had on the garlic bracelet with the garlic necklace and the garlic shoes and shit. I, I see. Woo. One on the uh playing games. Seven of fire. Seven of wands, which is cinnamon. That sounds like a stripper name. <laughs> I actually know what I, well, I don't know her. But I've been around her. Yeah. <laughs> cinnamon is a stripper i don't know who this is so uh outcome some of y'all gonna have to stop uh letting cinnamon bounce on your lap if that ain't her name is somebody shit uh seven of wands is restricting blocking something especially when it comes out with the playing games i'm sure you're not fighting to play games uh i feel like this is you trying to resist things divine masculine the skull is here which is like the death here uh some of you guys are putting it in the playing game you really want this person huh I just feel like you need to be yourself, though. That's the only uh, shit I'm picking up on is be yourself. Like, uh, there's no such thing as too perfect. Uh, I mean, excuse me. There is a such thing as too perfect. Meaning, like, trying to put on, like, young Jeezy. Like, uh, I feel like that does the opposite for this person. Because it's almost like you got to think about the reasons that you like this person. So uh, if you are really being sent to this person by the divine, then that will be the reasons that this person would reciprocate that that same likeness back to you. Uh, because whatever you like about this person, they also like about you. You trying to come too perfect and shit. That's going to have the opposite effect, G. Just, yeah, be yourself. Yeah, you got the three of cups with the four of wands and shit. Nine of water, yeah. Just have a good time, shit. Uh, I, I don't know. I feel like you need to be yourself. That's what they keep saying. So Bryson, I don't know if he keep it. Yeah, well, he does keep it a hundred. I guess that's what they saying for however long. Shit, long as I'm here, bitch, you here. It's almost like she appreciate that. Like, well, cool, at least I know to pack my shit up the night before and I ain't got to worry about your homeboy coming in acting like he don't know why you here. It's almost like uh. You being more honest and shit gets you a lot further, G. It's almost like it always back, backfires when you try to lie. Shit, basically. <laughs> what on the pizza eating lady? Slick Rick. Ooh, he out there. I knew this was you. This came out with uh, Divine Feminine earlier with you and your broad spying. I knew it was you saying you don't, but you do. Yes, you do. She say she don't. The pizza eating lady act like she don't. And she tell people, I don't care about her. I don't care about her. And motherfucker, you do. Uh, this like catnip. Whoever this divine being is that you want. You're watching this person uh build themselves and build up shit too. You watching how this person gets down. I feel like you like it. You're seeing how strong this person is, divine masculine. Outcome in the next seven days. That's why some of y'all are planning on traveling towards this person. I feel like some of y'all are uh, very inspired by this person, whoever this divine being is. Spot a little upset, but I mean, throw it a leg of lamb and I mean, shit now. Some of y'all lying and saying that y'all don't do drugs or have a drug problem or some type of addiction. Uh, that's what I'm saying about lying. 
like come in like well I don't want to tell her that and it's almost like so you rather her find out like let divine masculine your outcome is some of you guys don't want to give someone the uh an option to decline shit because you are like uh it's like well I ain't gonna tell her I do that shit because then she won't want to be with me like well then you're taking away her option G some of you guys are doing this this is the outcome in the next seven days I'm telling you it doesn't work not with this divine being it won't they will know eventually and uh they won't waste time at all and they'll have even <clears throat> less respect for you and you'll have less of a chance to be with this person by doing that shit so get your life brother shit what on the damn strength card look strength card i knew you was gonna get that damn garlic i told you you got strength on strength racks on racks on racks strength on strength on strength divine feminine got the same shit in the same place in the same room at the same time yeah Divine Masculine, a lot of y'all need to know that uh, someone <clears throat> possibly could not be dealing with you. Because this is for energy vampires, the garlic card. Because of some lies or something you told, a uh, page of swords, some secrets you've been keeping and things like that. And you've been very resistant. You've been playing games. Some of y'all just spying, playing on the, I don't know who this is doing this shit. I know a lot of y'all are like, bitch, what? I'm too busy, ho. I know, but this is for somebody. Uh, spying and playing games. Some of y'all have lost this person. Outcome in the next seven days. Others of you just want to come off like you squeaky clean and shit to someone. Uh, but like I said, it's going to take courage and shit to really be your true authentic self. We ain't all proud of the shit we done done. And again, I ain't saying tell all your business and shit. But it's like the shit that makes you you. This magician. Like a lot of y'all uh, do it. Shit. And just be like, fucking, I ain't about to play with this one. Seven of Wands with the playing games card i'm gonna kind of i feel like for those of you that do uh like try to uh honor your authenticity they're saying you ain't got to tell everything at one time divine masculine catnip page of swords it's small you know what i'm saying start off small like well yeah you know had some issues, you know, parents, yeah, however you do it, I don't know. But it's almost like, don't be like, and Clarence's parents have a really nice marriage. Like, don't be like that. Like, well, then me and you ain't gonna get along because my parents didn't even fucking stay together. I met my daddy once. Deuces. Like, we don't have shit in common. Then you be sitting there like, why the fuck did I say that shit knowing my mom and my daddy just was just this thuggish, thuggish, ruggish bone as hers. It's almost like that type of energy, divine masculine, using that as an example. Uh, be aware of trying to be too perfect. That's going to turn whoever this is off. Yeah, they see through people who are not secure or uh, in themselves. Or this is you, someone else. I'm so different. Nothing like them mother ninjas. I'm nothing like them mother ninjas. You're nothing like them mother bitches. I'm so different. Yeah, you are. I'm coming back for good, so let them ninjas know it's fine. Already got someone, that's what you tell them every time. That shit ain't up for grabs. I come through where, what'd he say? Where you at on the map? I come through where you at. Fuck around and end up your last, I won't hold back. Yeah, I won't hold back. Mm-hmm. It's about time I do it. It's about time I say this shit. Yeah, y'all gonna send a, a text to somebody. Some of y'all have already tried and then uh, stopped again. Some of y'all probably still will do that in the next seven days. But some of y'all are gonna get the courage to, to do something and not play with this person. Nick, yeah, you don't wanna lose this person, I told you. You trying to catch that shit. But you know you can't catch it the way you normally would, playing games and all that other shit. Uh, you'll lose this person. So the only way to catch this person with this net is to not play games. That is your outcome in the next seven days. So again, this could be someone from your past Divine Masculine that you kind of fucked over and all this other shit. And you're like, damn, I can't do that again. That's not going to work. Or this is someone new that you know is just totally different. Like, I can't use the same shit. This person doesn't give a fuck. Like, you know what I mean? They, they kind of go off a of good energy. Vitamin C drip. Like, uh, that's what catches this person, Divine Masculine. Good energy. Really. Like, uh, who doesn't want to be around somebody that's got great ass energy? And if it's two people, two high vibing people, it's the best time ever. You know what I mean? So I feel like uh, you want to catch this person. That's what you got to be on. 
real shit, and that shit free. It just take work, you know what I'm saying? And it's uh, you can attain it, but it's hard to maintain it, G. Real shit. One on the damn pizza eating lady, uh, Slick Rick. Yeah, y'all definitely Slick Rick with the page of swords. Hell yeah. Y'all spying on this shit. Uh-huh. Look what came out. <laughs> How could you be so heartless? Yeah, uh, Divine Masculine Outcome. Some of y'all ain't gonna say shit. So some of y'all, this person that you like doesn't even know how you feel about them. Uh, some of y'all broke up or are separated, and this person just, how could you be so Dr. Evil? You're bringing out a side of me that I don't know. I decided we wasn't going to speak, so while we up 3 a.m. on the phone, why do she be so mad at me for? Homie, I don't know. She's hot and cold. Uh, you do know. Stop playing games, boy. You won't stop, won't mess your groove up because you already know how this thing go. You can't play games with this person. <laughs> In the night, yeah. Some of y'all spy on this person late at night or watch them or uh, look at their social, something. Some of y'all live far away from this person. Trap soul. He lost his soul to a woman so heartless. She ain't heartless though. It ain't come out reverse. You know that shit. That's just what you tell people. You crazy, divine masculine. Outcome for the next seven days. But again, you trying to catch that ass, though. You know this the one you love, bitch. Who do you love? Yeah, you on that YG shit. Yeah. Now they're playing Michael Jackson. I want to love you. PYT, pretty young thing. You need some loving. TLC to the loving care. And I'll take you there. Uh-oh. He. All right. Hey, somebody at a party. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Look at the glove. Pretty young things. Repeat after me. Hey, I ain't about to sing at all, but shit, somebody jamming. You want to take somebody somewhere? I think it's to your homeboy house, though. Oh, take it there. Take it there. Like, is this your car? Divine, whoever this is, Divine Master got questions. Uh, but I feel like you saying, I want to love you, pretty young thing and shit. I feel like that's what, it's like, uh, Divine Masculine Outcome, if you really read this person's energy, you realize that this person just wants to feel secure, G. Uh, and the way that they feel secure with you is knowing that you're secure. Like, if I'm, uh, it's just almost like, uh, you ever, like, uh, been in the car with somebody and you've been super fucked up drunk before? If you were a woman listening, or a man, I don't know, shit. But it's almost like I trust this person. Like, I know I can fall asleep in this person's car and they're really going to take me home. I know I won't be taken advantage of. They're going to make sure I get in. Like, it's almost like uh, this person is responsible. They are secure even when I am irresponsible, right? There's no reason I should be drunk and fucked up like that. But, I mean, shit, somebody got to be able to take the wheel. That's what this person is looking for. They don't need you to take the wheel all the time. Like, you wouldn't want them to take the wheel from you all the time. But somebody wants to know that uh, someone can be a safety net if ever needed. It. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of person you're looking for and the type of person that's looking for you is what it looks like. Shit. Like when you ain't got it, the other person does. When they ain't got it, you do. But it's not like a I need it thing. It's like a, I know my counterpart, my spouse got it if I don't. You know what I'm saying? Say you get sick and shit and can't work. Who gonna wipe your ass? It's that type shit. It's almost like a, you, you think Muggle and Spot go away. You better have a whole bunch of leg of lamb by your bed if you want Muggle and Spot to wipe your ass. But this divine counterpart and all this other shit, it's almost like a... It's like you just know divine masculine, but you would also have to be honest with this person. Adam's apple at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. One on playing games, Nick. Uh, seven of wands. Get the hell up out of here. Main person. Mm-hmm. On top of the net. You want this one. You trying to catch that one. You trying to be this person's main person, and you're trying to be that person's main person. But you know what that entails. That means you can't play games with this person. Uh, be out there uh, trying to. Uh, it feels like bravado. Seven of wands. Like out there like trying to like flex your muscle and puff your chest out. Like trying to impress people still. Outcome. You know that's not going to work with this person. It's repeating itself. But I feel like you hanging that shit up. Or you've tried it already before and it didn't work. Divine masculine outcome. Or you know something about this person where you know that won't work. Something like that. 
I feel like you get the courage to speak up to this person, though. You got two strength cards. Uh, I hope you ain't eat all that motherfucking garlic, though. Or just send a message. Wait till your body air out. Shit. That shit stank. You know when that shit come out your pores? I mean, you don't smell it, but if a motherfucker asks you, you been eating garlic and shit, then you know. So just, it's like asparagus. Don't eat asparagus and be trying to, shut up, man. But yeah, it's like that. Uh, just send a message. Shit. Make my nose itch. <laughs> One more sit on each slice of pizza and be quiet. Catnip in the heart. Death card came out. Yeah, y'all putting it in the secrets and spying and all that shit. Keeping secrets from your lover and all that shit. Damn. Some of y'all are ending a situation with somebody you was just playing with anyway. Catnip. Uh, this is somebody you kept a secret either from this uh, counterpart here or this is somebody that you was just secretly fucking around with that you I feel like you getting rid of side bitches too. divine masculine outcome in the next seven days some of y'all are lying telling someone you don't want this person and you do in the next seven days but I get why though is you don't want to hear shit so nah I don't have nobody don't want to be with nobody nah but you really do though and you are secretly going to reach out to this person, Divine Masculine. Because you don't want someone else to get her. <clears throat> I say, fuck them other ninjas. Won't you say it with me? Yeah. It's like, uh, yeah, you want that. Whoever this is, Divine Masculine, you want this person. Gloomy thoughts came out reverse. So, yeah. Uh, this is happy thoughts. Shit. Uh, some of y'all just... Shit, decide to do that shit. Maybe uh, in the next seven days, one of those days is just a really good day. You feel really good, courageous, like Tony the Tiger and shit. You had your frosty flakes that morning, uh, all that shit, and you like fucking. I'm just gonna do it. Some of y'all, it turns out well. Some of y'all, this person, some of y'all, this person is happy to hear from you. Some of y'all, this turns out well. Others of you. I feel like they tell some of y'all it's too late. Like they kind of wave by, but they do it in a nice way. Uh, And I feel like you get quiet like I just did. And they be like, how does that sound? Sound? Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, it doesn't sound good, bitch. I thought we was getting back together. Uh, it don't sound good, huh? Yeah, some of y'all get y'all feelings hurt, Divine Masculine. Real shit. Some of y'all are tired of watching this person. You want to be in their presence. If this is someone new, Divine Masculine, it definitely goes well for you. If this is someone from your past, Divine Masculine, this is a motherfucking toss-up, depending on how this magician work was and the STDs and all the other shit and the muggles uh, and, and the spine, all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, some of you guys need to know this person's been happier since you've been gone. Since you've been gone! Main person with the bereavement card and, and happy thoughts. Some of y'all need to know that shit, and some of you guys will be told this when you try to reach out to this person. Past person, for sure. Some of y'all gonna tell this person you damn near gonna die without this person. Page of swords with the heart. That's the secret uh, y'all been keeping. A lot of y'all, y'all love this person, whoever this is, Divine Masculine. You really do. And you don't wanna play with this person. Upper world. Uh, you realize it's a gift. Oh, shit. Yeah, this definitely ain't the bunch from last week. You just uh, get your living situation together and get out your homeboy house. Uh, let me know if you visiting or maybe you flew in and you like, man, I, re I like home cooking. Well, there ain't no food. But maybe you just, I don't know, maybe his shit incognito. I don't know. But it's the part with your homeboy letting you, like, uh, whose sheets are these? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. You know what I mean? It's like, mm, I don't know. Depending on who your homeboy is. You know what I'm saying? If your homeboy is Uncle Barry Obama, then yeah, I ain't complaining shit. But I know he got food in the fridge. They telling me this person don't. Maybe they got a couple of cloves of garlic, uh, some some roaches in the ashtray and a lime. I don't know what the fuck we gonna make with that, but uh, how does it sound? I don't know. Anyway, Divine Masculine, that's been your reading for the next seven days. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Divine Masculine getting no fit nuts. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your fans. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.